Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? No, you dang camel. It's upgrade day. I've been raising this little ornate diamondback terrapin. She's getting to the point where she's like three to four inches. And normally I keep my terrapins in something like this. When they are babies, I'll keep them in this small concrete mixing tub that I get from Home Depot for eight bucks, a bunch of fake plants, heater, and a water filter. No basking spot. I just allow them to surface bask. As we can see right here, one of them's doing it right now under this heat lamp. You know, these baby terrapins actually don't need UVB until they hit about three or four inches. So I keep them in these concrete mixing tubs and whatnot until they hit that three to four inches and then I'll put them in a large concrete mixing tub with UVB either outside or indoors with a proper heat lamp. So then I keep them in a large concrete mixing tub a lot like this one with a bunch of fake plants and access to UVB. So here this terrapin is now getting to be about three to four inches. She is ready for a larger enclosure than just this even large concrete mixing tub so it's time to upgrade and go big for her so to recap as little tiny babies they go in a small concrete mixing tub filter heater and bunch of fake plants then they go in the large concrete mixing tub for a little bit more swimming space and whatnot and then once they grow too big for that large concrete mixing tub we go to this 75 gallon tubs don't know which one i'm gonna pick yet but they're the perfect size for you know that size terrapin for about four inches so today we're gonna set this up and upgrade that little baby terrapin to something bigger little buddy, let's get you some water going. Now folks, check this out. This, this here is done. And look at that beautiful little matte white ornate diamondback terrapin who's doing a little bit of surface basking there. Now I don't provide a basking area that way the humidity is super high and that way the shell grows nice and smoothly. Otherwise they can get bumpy shells. Anyways, look what I did. I made this little enclosure thingy. Now why did I make this enclosure type deal? I opened the incubator to check on some new babies that hatched and they are up and out. They were buried earlier. They were buried absorbing the yolk sacs, but earlier today they were up and out and running around. They are ready for water. So we're gonna take this fella. We're gonna take these fellas. Look, clearly they're ready. We're taking everyone outside and they are ready for water. So let's go do this. Don't move, don't move. This little one's like about to go up and over the edge. Let's get you guys rinsed off and into your new enclosure. Make sure that the yolk sac is all healed totally. Let's give you a rinse. Look at that. That's a little one. This one was in a very little, little, little egg. Look at you, you're tiny. All right, so now you go into the water. Go ahead, little friend. All right, now let's get some more. This is an unexpected but fun part of today's video. Come here, little friend. I'm not just digging these guys up earlier. They were up and out and about, and they are ready for this water. The only reason that they're buried now is because they couldn't get out of the containers. So I put them in here rinse off that vermiculite and then they are rip roaring ready to go oh there it goes oh that one is so pretty hi pretty next one there should be seven of them total number three there we go all right come on little number three there you go in the other container there's another i think three Oh, you are also so pretty. Hold on, friend. Hi, beautiful. All right, why don't you go ahead? You can run away now. You can run away now, friend. Whoop. And there they go to hide, and they'll wait a few days for their first meal. The little munchkins, all ready for water, all swimming. They'll settle in. I gave them nice places to hide. They'll settle in, and a couple days they'll be eating, and in four weeks or so, they'll be ready for their new homes. Guys, look, I'm just out here trying to cool down because it's a million bajillion degrees out. There's the ornate, just chilling. There she goes. Well, she just took off, but again, in this enclosure, we just have some fake plants. We have a little pipe for a hide right there. We have a cinder block to provide a semi-basking area, so that way we get nice smooth shell growth. We've got fake plants here. This Fluval U4 filter that I've had literally since my college dorm days, and it has been all faithful some of these pumps that i have and that's it we have this outside this gets morning sun it gets uvb even though it's in the shade it, it still gets uvb and then also 
we have these precious, precious little nuggets that are settling in. They're finding little spaces to hide in. I'm sure that there's a whole bunch underneath there. Yep, they are hiding underneath that little cork bark, but we're gonna give these guys their first meal. I think the day after tomorrow, start getting them on blood worms. And unfortunately, the last batch of bean babies, they are going to their new homes later this week. So I had them listed on my Patreon and I posted them just, I think yesterday or the day before that. And that's it, they are gonna go off. They grow up so freaking fast, I can't deal. So now that turtle's in there till she gets large enough to go into the 300 gallon pond. And you know, I have the 300 gallon one set up the same way that I set up this one. Also that tub I bought from Amazon for like 140 bucks way back when they had it on Amazon. It's a tough stuff, 75 gallon stock tank. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one.